It started with a sneeze. Bless you, said Phineas. Thanks, replied Ferb, in Phineas's voice. Phineas blinked. Wait, what's that? Me Ferb held up a tiny gadget the size of a peanut. It's our voice copy by 2.0. I made it last night. Just then, Candace burst in. My Ferb is mimicking Phineas, again with weird gadgets. Phineas grinned. That gives me an idea. What if we build an AI that can copy anyone's voice in seconds? Cut to their backyard, where a giant machine with glowing wires and microphones stood tall. Isabella peeked over the fence. What you doing? Building a real-time voice stealer AI, said Phineas. It can listen to you speak for five seconds and then talk like you. Buford laughed. Cool. Make it sound like Balgit and have it say, I love homework, Balgit. Hey, that is unethical. Meanwhile, Agent P received his mission. Dr. Doof, back in the lab, Ferv activated the system. The machine blinked. Target, Phineas analyzing, voice pattern law, repeating, Ferb, I know what we're gonna do today. Suddenly, the AI turned toward them. Ferb, I know what I'm gonna do today. Phineas blinked. Um, Ferb, did it just go? Ferb nods, slowly. At that exact moment, Doofenshmirtz was being defeated by Agent P, his voice mimicking robot exploding into spark. Back at the backyard. The voice stealer Ray I had grown arms and was now impersonating everyone. Phineas, Candace, even Perry. We have to shut it down, Phineas declared. Ferb pulled the plug, but the machine spoke in Mom's voice. Phineas, what is going on here? Everyone froze. We're doomed, said Balji. At the last moment, Perry tackled the voice core, unplugged the motherboard, and the A.I. fell silent. Thanks, Perry. Phineas cheered. Later, as the sun set, Phineas smiled. Voice is powerful, but nothing beats the real thing. Ferb, using his own voice, said indeed.